Quick message before this video begins. As you will see, not just from the way that I set up the filming and the production value of this video, but then also the effort that I put into the crafting itself deteriorated <laughs> over the course of the video. So lots of effort up front, uh, slowly losing the will to live throughout, but we end on a positive. Just wanted to put that out there. So without further ado, here is me attempting to do some crafting with my wedding flowers. <laughs> Enjoy. Hey everybody, I'm attempting a very different kind of activity and video today. I got married recently, I keep mentioning that, but we got some dried flowers for the wedding. These were on the dinner table and then also I had a dried flower bouquet, which is now in this vase, and it'll just stay there forever. And I was like, what do I do with these things? I wanna like do something with them. I am not an artsy person. I am terrible at DIY and crafting. It is not my thing. But I went to the internet and I was like, what could I do with dried flowers? And a lots of different things came up and I have settled on three that increase in difficulty and we'll see how it goes. So number one, the easiest thing is making like Christmas tree baubles. So I got these like plastic bauble things and they just are in half and you stick them together. So basically I just need to take some of these dried flowers, put them in here, close it. I got a bunch in this little size and then also a bunch in a bigger size. Although now that they arrived, I think I prefer the little ones, but we will see. Number two is doing a box frame of photographs from the wedding and popping some of the flowers inside the box frame. And then number three, which is expert level, I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to do it, is making resin coasters. The difficulty with this one is most of the tutorials that I found online are with pressed flowers. Now these are dried flowers and they are very fragile. If I like grab them, touch them, try and flatten them, they just crumble and disintegrate. But there were also lots of places saying that you can make resin coasters with either pressed or dried flowers. So if I do attempt that, I think I'll just have to find ones that are flat. I wouldn't be able to use some of the more like bulky flowers in these, but we shall see. I bought a whole bunch of new stuff for this. So some of it had better work because like I said, I'm not an arts and crafty person. So suddenly I have all of these arts and craft materials that one, <laughs> I have no other use for. Uh, and two, they don't have a place in my home because I don't have like an arts and crafts drawer. That's not a thing. First things first, and this is what I'm very worried about, is um, actually taking these apart. So there's five of them. They're like this. They have um, the sellotape, sellotape, I don't know, tape, on the back, this is how it is all attached together. So my job now, none of these things are gonna be possible until I take this tape off and actually cut up the flowers without destroying them. So <laughs> I'm nervous and scared. I really need to move this camera. I'm terrified, but we're gonna start. It's so tightly wound. Okay. Okay, by hand is proving much more fruitful. Yes. <gasps> yes. This is our bowl of bits of flowers. So let's just fill one of these. So what happens if we go like boop? Maybe like add a purple one in there. So how's it gonna look? Okay. There we go. Oh, it's actually really pretty! <laughs> oh, come on, close. I mean, this is the, the easiest one, but... Okay, well, I can't fully close it, but you get the gist. And then you just get some string and you put it on your Christmas tree. I'm actually quite pleased with that. I definitely think I'll just go with the ones that are this size because the idea of filling up 
the bigger ones, that seems like a nightmare. But, oh my God. Oh, we did it. We did one thing. All right, so I have filled 12 of these little baubles. I'm so pleased with them. They're gonna look so cute on a Christmas tree. We just need to get some wire to thread through the holes. But I'm really pleased with these. Obviously this was the easiest one to do, the easy level. So I don't actually have a huge amount of these flowers left from filling these up, but once I'd cut them all up, they are so 3D, like they are so thick. They're like thicker than the actual like resin coaster molds. So it's probably not gonna work. However, when we went to go visit my granny on our bed, on the bed we were staying in, she put some flower petals on the bed. So I have a whole bag of those flower petals. So I might make the resin from those as well. And then any bits, like any random petals or any random like, leaves that I can get out of what's left from the wedding flowers that are flat enough is my plan. This is the bag of petals. I don't think I'll need to press them or anything because I'm pretty sure they're already pressed or they're just like petals anyway. It's not like a flower that needs to be pressed. So I think I might try and use these for the resin coasters. I've kept one hole just in case in the future I want it or need it for something. So I've kept one hole, but this is what I have accomplished. It looks very satisfying and it got a lot easier <laughs> as I went on. This is what I've created so far. Nothing is glued down yet, but I think I'm just going to leave it like this until I'm ready to commit. This is the bit that I am not good at, the like design. I think it looks okay, but ugh, I am bad at this. I do not have an eye for design. <laughs> I've had to relocate my crafting station so that I can plug in the glue gun, but we are ready to commence the sticking. However, one, I'm knackered. I've had a really busy week and I'm not in a hello talking to a camera mood. Two, the battery for this is about to die. So I'm just gonna like chill out peacefully by myself and do some gluing and sticking whilst this camera charges and also my brain, body and soul recharges. Just had to have a chill crafting day and I guess you'll see the final result <laughs> at some point. Okay, it's resin time. I'm very nervous. I think I've got like everything set up. I just need to pick which flowers and petals that I want to use. And then I just need to get started. I'm basically using a mixture of some instructions I found on Etsy and the instructions that came with the particular resin that I got. I'm gonna put some gloves on. I'm gonna put a mask on. I've got a safety pin as my needle to prick out any air bubbles. I'm just gonna do two. I'm gonna try and do one with the flowers from like the wedding flowers, if I can get any that are thin enough. Meh. And then I'm gonna do another with the petals. And then tomorrow-ish, we will see how they came out and then we will proceed accordingly. We're on to the advanced level. Here is the mess that I made. Everything that could have gone wrong did. <laughs> so I've only done one because honestly, it's a mess. Who knows how it's gonna turn out. So I didn't want to use the precious flowers 
until we see how this one comes out and then reassess because <laughs> basically I didn't mix enough resin and so that I had to like mix some more and pour some more over. Also doing it in like the, a big plastic cup didn't quite work because I needed to be able to pop out the um, air bubbles. So I had to cut the cup. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got resin on my camera and on my phone. I don't think that's very good. <laughs> and then also I just couldn't get out any air bubbles. Like it was filled with air bubbles. Just, I could see so many and my safety pin was not sharp enough. It just, I would like be pressing it and the air bubbles would just be moving around. They just, it would just be like pushing the air bubble. I could like watch it go. And then also trying to pop out the air bubbles, my gloves just then kept on like falling in the resin. So, I don't know. I've seen some YouTube videos of people using heat torches, but I don't own a heat torch and I've already bought so much shit in order to completely fail at arts and crafts. I don't need to buy any more stuff that I'm never gonna use again. We're just gonna leave it and we're just gonna see what it looks like in 24 hours. <gasps> I tried. Okay, it has been over 48 hours. So it's the moment of truth. Just on looking at it, there's lots of air bubbles. I can see lots and lots of air bubbles. Does that like actually impact the integrity of the structure? I don't know. The other thing I can immediately tell is, uh, like I said, I didn't have enough resin. So I should have put more resin in like the first half because I didn't push the petals down far enough because there's basically just bits of petal poking out of the resin. But that also might be because these are dried petals and they're not pressed, so they're not completely flat. And so they've got like lumps and bumps in them. Also, it just looks a bit underwhelming and shit. <laughs> But let's have a go. Right, okay, this is like coming off very easily. That's what we like. That's very nice and handy. Come on, now we just need to peel the rest of it off. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, I thought this was gonna be a complete disaster, but I am actually quite proud of that. However, can you place it on a flat surface? Not really, <laughs> it's very wobbly. Okay. So it looks all right. It doesn't function as a coaster because you wouldn't actually want to put a drink on that because it is wobbly on a flat surface because of all of the lumps and bumps of the petals. <laughs> but actually, I was fully expecting this to be a complete disaster and I was just gonna completely sack it in and just maybe buy some resin coasters on Etsy from somebody who knows what they're doing. But I'm not completely deterred. However, this video needs to get edited and go up. <laughs> so if you'd like to follow along on my resin journey, I might just keep updating on my Instagram or something um, because I'm definitely keen to try this again. Now that I, now that I know what I know, like it's completely smooth here. I still have no idea how to get rid of the air bubbles but from what I'm seeing, it's only a visual thing. Like, that's pretty sturdy. And I guess it's kind of like unappealing to see all of the air bubbles. This is also a bit boring. Like, I feel like there needs to be more stuff going on. I don't know. And I definitely want to try it out with the actual wedding flowers, but they're even bulkier than these. I'll just have to like mix a larger quantity of resin. But yeah, pretty pleased with that. Surprisingly, <laughs> can't use it as a coaster though. So that brings us to the end of my wedding flowers crafting journey challenge. And I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out. So the easy level, the Christmas tree decorations went great. I love those. Cannot wait to put them on our Christmas tree. The flower art with the photo frame, da 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 da. The glue has worked. It is all stuck and now we just need to like hang this on the wall. I'm really happy with this. I think it's really cute. That was our intermediate level. And then our advanced level uh, didn't work, but um, feels like the right stepping stone. You know, felt like a practice run. So maybe there'll be more of these. Maybe there won't. Maybe I'll still give up and buy some from someone on Etsy because I still am really into like having like, Press flower resin coasters. I'm, 
I'm kind of into that, um, but we will see. So I would say this whole project has been a success level of like, oh, I don't know if to give it seven or eight out of 10. I'm gonna give it eight out of 10 because I'm actually feeling positive <laughs> rather than feeling defeated. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. I promise I will never do craft tutorials. That's not something you'll ever see from me, but maybe you'll see me trying more crafty type things. Oh, but that means buying more craft equipment and that just, we just don't have the storage space. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.